YouTube, it's your girl Minnie Miss Hair, and I'm just coming to you guys to show you how I do my deep conditioning method. Uh, I did a few days ago on this hair after I, before I flexi rod it, and I just wanted to show you guys how I did that. This is my day old flexi rod, if you can see the curls, this hair definitely holds a curl. The only thing is that this hair does not like product, and I noticed that it shedded a little more when I added the wrapping mousse, because like, um... The wrapping mousse on this hair was very strong, whereas that on my regular hair is really light. So I'm going to wash my hair again tonight, really quick co-wash, and then I'm going to flexi rod again with just no product except for on my leave out. But I just hope you guys enjoy my video, how I deep condition, and I'll be packing on the road back to going back to school. So I won't be on YouTube for a while, but of course, always comment, message. I'll be answering on my phone and things like that. But um... You won't see a video for me, just maybe to like the end of the week, middle of the week or so. I'll try to, because I want to set up everything and finish up packing. And definitely going to be doing that, um, going through my closet type video and showing you all the products I have so we can get to know each other better. So stay tuned for that. And as always, happy, healthy hair journey. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey YouTube, it's your girl Minnie Miss Hair. And I'm just here to just show you guys how I make my conditioner mix. That I'll be using today to decondition my weave out and then I'll be co-washing my weave but um usually it always involves a oil honey and any type of conditioner so today I'll be using the anti-breakage mask by Shea Moisture it's the um, organic yucca and baobab line and I did a review of this before this product um, not so much a love relationship. I don't hate it yet, but I just feel like I haven't found the perfect way to really use it. I feel like I apply it to my hair and there's absolutely no slip and it doesn't make my hair feel, it makes it feel stronger and thicker, but I still want like moisturizing properties from it. Sometimes I feel like when I apply it, it's just sitting on my hair and I don't like that. I like when I apply conditioner, I deep condition my hair and then when I take it off, it's like, I feel like where's the product go because it was so much absorbed into my hair strands. So today I'm gonna be using a few scoops of this, some honey, I'm going to be using my grapeseed oil and a conditioner for the first time, so we'll see how that works out. I did review grapeseed oil, you can see that. And um, because I have dye in my hair, and this is the conditioner that they recommend, it's gonna add a couple of squirts of the Clairol Color Treated um, Conditioner and rinse with aloe. So just a few squirts of that. But if this was my regular deep conditioner, I would just be using this. A, not this specifically, but a conditioner, honey, and oil. And if it was a really strong protein conditioner, I'll be adding like a few squirts of one of my moisturizing conditioners. And I like to keep it organic. So this is organic, and then these are just natural products. So the only thing that might have a few combs in it or something like that would just be a few squirts of this. So, okay, so let's get started. Have a spoon just to make application a little easier. Empty cup. Let's get started. So this is how much left I have of the product. Pretty fair amount. You want to see. That's how much. Gonna take like, because this is only on my leave out, like this much. It's pretty much enough, but I'll just add like a scoop and a half per se. Like a scoop and one fourth. And then it's like in there. Then I'm gonna do oil first so it makes honey just slip off easier. Just a spoon of oil. Looks really pretty in there. And then a spoon of honey. Not a lot. So that's what it's looking like so for oil, honey, and conditioner. And then last two squirts of this. And hopefully this will give me a little bit of slip, but hopefully the oil will give me the slip that the yucca is missing. So that's one squirt, two squirts. Okay. And then just gonna mix it up. I 
and this is just you know I'm making for enough to be placed on my leave out but of course half of this cup would be filled if I was placing this conditioner and mix all over my head okay okay guys so I'm back and um, this is the hair because I just dyed it but I rinsed out the dye and then this is my conditioner mix as you can see that I just mixed and I'm going to be applying it to the hair that's left out it still feels really clean so I'm not going to be shampooing my leave out at the moment but um just going to part my hair back for a second just going to put it up because this mix is just for the hair that's left out So I just finished applying the conditioner all over. I have to say that, I mean, I don't know how it feels on my hair, how it's going to work, but just on my body, it felt really, really, like, fluffy and soft. And I, I think it's because of the grapeseed oil. Because I remember trying this with coconut and honey and the anti-breakage mask, and it didn't feel like, it was just, like, regular. But um, with the grapeseed oil, it just felt really, like, fluffy and light. So I'm really excited to see the results. And as it went on, it just... I felt like my hair was feeling soft. So I applied it all everywhere. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more on my edges. Cause that's just what's important. And I pretty much used up most of it. I have like one fourth left. So that last one fourth scoop, you could have forgot about that. You didn't need it. There's only a little bit of my leave out that's out. Now that that's all done, like I always say, it's okay if your conditioning mix touches your leaves. Not a big deal. I just didn't want to um, put oil on it. I just want to keep sticking with the variable essence conditioner until something goes wrong. So I'm going to do a dry condition again, just because. But I'll be rinsing all this out in the shower. Have this much in my hand. Should be enough for maybe one side of the weave. And I'm just going to work Add the through. conditioner while we pinned it up. I'm going to take a plastic cap, put it on my head, let it deep condition for a while. I'm going to go do some other things, like maybe shape up my eyebrows, clean up, finish packing for school. And I'm going to come back, wash it out. And then I'm going to um, just show you guys what the hair looks like, update you, and just fill you in. So thanks for watching. Just got the shower. Right. So I wanted to show you guys my results. Um... The conditioner definitely walked, worked, definitely worked, so I meant to say. Um, my new growth, or like all the hair that's out, it's so buttery soft. I think it really had to do with the um, grapeseed oil. So if you guys have that, you can go out back and you just condition. felt like it just was sitting on top of your hair, it wasn't penetrating. If you add a little grapeseed oil, oh my gosh, it makes it so easy to detangle like I can run my hands through it my new growth is like laying down it's so soft my hair is really glossy and shiny and as usual the herbal essence hello hydration did its job on 
my weave, but like I'm really just like I'm absolutely shocked because that I was I just was thinking I wasted so much money. The honey and the grapeseed oil definitely like gave it the slip that that conditioner needed. My hair feels stronger because of the protein in it and like the thickening agents, but it definitely just feels so soft. And last time I rinsed that out, it just felt stripped and dry and like it didn't do anything. So if you're having an issue with that, I definitely recommend that you mix some grapeseed oil in there and as well um some honey okay so that's my little tip for that conditioner oh, I, oh my gosh. that's a lot to say